this video, we're going to look at how to define pagination, filters, and sorting for lists and tables in VBCS applications. So you set up pagination, filtering, and sorting using a mix of HTML properties on the list and table components and properties in the service data provider. So as a reminder, most lists and tables in VBCS are bound to service data providers. And service data providers have built-in properties like filter criterion and sort criteria that abstract away the differences between service providers in their sorting and filtering implementations. So if one service provider, say Twitter, takes a certain URL format to filter a list of tweets, and another one, like say your accounts, takes a different um, URL format, you define those when you register those REST APIs and then you just use one, um, one way of, of defining what your actual query is using the service data provider um, filter criterion or sort criterion. So like I just said, when you register a new API in VBCS, you would also register the transformations that produce the right URL patterns for returning the right sorted or filtered data. Um, and those are little JavaScript snippets um, that just get invoked when the, before the REST call is made. Now for business objects, um, for Oracle SAS REST APIs that are based on ADF, and for most apps that are defined with Swagger, this comes for free out of the box. In this lesson, we're gonna focus on pagination. Pagination is defined completely on the table and list view components. Typically, we use the more modern pattern of load more on scroll. So you get a page of results, and when you scroll to the bottom, it automatically loads more. So let's see how we do that. I'm going to select the list, and the all properties, I can filter for scroll, and I'm going to set the scroll policy. And this handy pop-up gives me allowed values. So now I've set load more on scroll. We also have to give some direction to the list about how to handle its size. If you just add load more on scroll and you don't do anything else, it'll load the whole data set as we see here. You see it paginated twice and it loaded the whole thing. That's because it doesn't have a defined page size or a defined max height of the container. So it treats it as if the page itself is always scrolling down to the bottom. So there's a couple of things that we can do here. So one of the things is we could put a, on the style, we could just put a maximum height on this list, right? By saying height 500 pixels. Now, if we reload, we'll see that this list has its own scroll bar. Now, if we don't want the list to have its own scroll bar and we want it to just take up the full size of the page and use the pages scroll bar, then what we can do is remove this and let's go back over to our scroll options. I'm going to come into our scroll policy options. And on the scroller, we'll put document dot document element. And now if we come back and we reload, You'll see that there's no scroll bar here. It loaded up one page, and when I get to the bottom, it loaded up another. So this page is loading the default 25 entries at a time, and we can adjust that by using the fetch size, right? Which we'll set here to say five. And reload. All right, and that brought us in one, two, three, four, five. And when we go down, it goes more. Note that if you set this to a very low number and there's room for more than the number of entries than you specified as your, as your minimum size, it will fetch enough pages until it can fill up the amount of space that it's given. So there, it fetched twice, right, and so forth. So that's how you do simple pagination in VBCS. 